Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgamerman.com. This next question is, are power supplies that have a single plus 12 volt rail better than ones that have multiple plus 12 volt rails? Well, rails are well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use, and each plus 12 volt rail has an OCP circuit or overcurrent protection circuit. That's a good thing, of course, because if due to a hardware failure, it exceeds that amount of amps specified on the power supply per plus 12 volt rail, it will shut the power supply down, protecting everything else in the system. But that can be a limitation. For example, if you have a power supply with four 20 amp plus 12 volt rails, so each one of the four is 20 amps, and your power requirements are more than 20 amps, you're out of luck. You'll either have system instability where your power supply will shut down or it won't even turn on. The solution to that, of course, is to get a power supply with a large single plus 12 volt rail because you don't have that limitation up to 20 amps. Now, what is this 20 amp limitation on multiple plus 12 volt rail power supplies? Well, it's to comply with the underwriter laboratories specification and they state that no home appliance can exceed 240 voltage amps per plus 12 volt rail and that's around 20 amps per plus 12 volt rail so what's better a single plus 12 volt rail or a power supply with multiple plus 12 volt rails to be honest, good power supplies with multiple plus 12 volt rails that, for example, have 20, 18 to 20 amps on each 12 volt rail won't be a problem for most of us. But if you're into a massive multi video card setup and or have thermoelectric coolers or anything else that requires an excessive amount of power, then go with a power supply that has a large single plus 12 volt rail. And by the way, most of those power supplies are over 1,000 watts. I hope this answers your question and keep your questions coming.